but no, I'm coming hard for 75 soft, okay? Hello my loves, welcome to a video where I just completely get my life together, okay? Also, hey, welcome, welcome back. My name is Jacera Brianna. You know what to do, make sure you subscribe. So I just need order, I need discipline within my life, okay? I have to get my sh together, it's 2024. Have y'all heard of 75 hard? Well, <laughs> I wanna try to do 75 soft, okay? We're bringing soft life to 75 hard because I just want discipline, but I do wanna see some progress. I've been on this like little healthy journey tip for a bit and I'll start to do something like work out consistently and then I'll stop. I'll start eating really healthy and then I'll have a like bad binge week of like snacks and eating out and Uber Eats. Oh my God, so horrible. I just want a routine 24-7 so I don't have to mentally prepare and think to do things. I'm just doing it. It's just in me, not on me. You feel me? So I am, this is my trial run for 75 soft, okay? And I'm bringing this to YouTube because I can't I can't fold in front of y'all. I have to stick to it. If it was just me and I had like one accountability partner as like my friend or I'm at, I'll be making excuses. Da -da -da. But no, I'm coming hard for 75 soft, okay? So this is the start of my journey. Today is March the 29th. And I'm going to really start April 1st. So I can wrap up by June and then by July, uh, my birthday month, I can be snacked okay and something else that has really just gave me the motivational push to just grow do it it's because y'all I don't know if y'all saw a video back in like October when I went to the doctor I had on a pink sweatsuit if I find a thumbnail I'll put it right here girl I had went to the doctors and they weighed me and that was the first time I, I got weighed in like the last two years and I was a hefty 150 pounds and I just thought that was absurd I just thought that was crazy like wait 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 just her is what and it's it, damn it's not really <laughs> anyways it's not really the number but it's just like girl you put on some pounds and we just want to shut them off basically I found um this girl rules on TikTok, and I'm gonna kind of like use hers as a guide and tweak little things. So let me tell y'all about what I'll be doing for the next 75 days, girl. Woo! Okay, waking up at 8 a.m. every day, easy. So recently, I've been waking up at 7:30 slash 7:45 on my own. That's my body. Get into my, you know, my body. Get into it. Yeah. No alarm. I just wake up in the morning by myself, and I have a slow morning. Love that. So. But on the weekends, I be trying to sleep in. That's not okay. So we have to wake up at 8 a.m. every day. Boom. No phone for at least 30 minutes after waking up. I think that's easy. I've never tried to do that before, but I think I can do it. Next is eat healthy meals and try new foods. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Because I eat healthy most of the time. Boom. Drink at least two liters of water a day. I can do that. I can do that. Now, I don't know if it's going to be two liters. I'm going to measure it by my Simply Modern cup. Now, this is something I'm literally going to tweak. It says read 10 pages of a self-improvement book every day. I'm going to switch that to 30 minutes of any book every day. And I've been doing that. I love reading on my iPad and documenting my little streaks of how many days in a row I've read for 30 minutes each day. So that's easy. Um, I'll, and I'll just dibble and dabble in between like my romance novels and my self-help books and my um, murder novels and things like that. Okay, because 10 pages is nothing. Like, girl, you can't even finish a chapter in most books in 10 pages. So we're changing that. Have a solid skincare and hygiene routine. I do that already. I'm always breaking out though because my skin hates me. I'm, I'm, I'm going through it with my skin right now and at this big age of 26 years old. But hey, I've already put in the work. I have a dermatologist. I see her April 26th, I believe. So I'm just going to continue to try my best, okay? And then the last thing to do is take bi-weekly progress pics. That's so easy. What do y'all think? I think I can do this. As long as I keep my head in the game, shout out to Zac Efron, I can do this. So, it mentioned that we have to eat healthy and try new foods. So, I'm actually about to cook breakfast, which is why I wanted to hop on the camera and introduce this new thing that I'm doing in life right now with you guys. 
and I'm thinking about doing my boyfriend's favorite breakfast meal for me which is an omelet I saw this girl on TikTok she said an omelet I mean she said an egg and one orange one egg one orange every day can give you all your vitamins and I said I'm definitely eating an egg today I don't got no oranges though I drank some orange juice does that help anyways let's go make us a meal Some shit, man, but I be on my shit, man. I decided that what you give is what you give is. So I've been trying to do it right. I've been doing like whatever gets me through the night. What a life. I'm steady, always on the go. You steady, always on the go. We steady, losing all control. taste test i just feel like you know what i really mess with me in the omelet department i just feel like i make the best omelet so cheers bestie you see that steam you see how fully stacked it is with vegetables no meat mm -hmm. oh that's so mm-hmm mm-hmm added me a little avocado for healthy fats eating healthy for me is really easy Except for limiting myself with seasonings, cheese, and butter. I'm not letting go of my cheese and butter. It just ain't happening, Captain. So I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast that I'm eating at 12 o'clock. I know, crazy. Okay, y'all, so really quickly before my camera dies, I wanted to show you guys my scale. I bought one off Amazon. It got delivered yesterday. It's so cute. It says, hey, when you step on it, it's pink, it's glass. I'll link it in the description box if y'all want the same exact scale because she's just very aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. But, y'all, I stepped on the scale last night and I was like, okay, brace yourself because you still might be 150. And if so, that's fine. So, I stepped on it, y'all. I am... 143 pounds from the little moderations i've done since last october i have lost seven pounds which is insane so at first my goal weight was going to be 145 or 140 and now that i see that i'm 143 already my new goal weight is either um 137 pounds or 135 so i'm going to keep documenting i'm gonna keep you guys up with my progress <laughs> I'm so excited like I can't believe that just eating cleaner drinking a lot of water being active here and there no I wasn't consistent but just getting up and doing something maybe two three days out of the week and um cutting down on my portion control when I'm eating really made a big difference across five months the last five months so I am so stinking proud of myself I was gonna put up the sticky notes that everyone's doing going from 1 to 75 to document this process but I really think that's tacky and I can't find no post notes and I'm not gonna go buy them to write numbers on them so I'm gonna document mine on my iPad in some way shape or form um and I'm gonna make sure that I continue reading on my iPad and just kind of documenting the things that I eat throughout the week so I can make sure that I um am only snacking in moderation so your girl is getting slim, okay? Uh, up, sneaking up. I'm like, enough is enough. But we are out and about. I'm on my way to Trader Joe's because I need to pick up some things, okay? A part of this whole 75 stove situation is trying new foods. So, do I want to go plant based? No. Do I want to go vegan? Hell no. I like chicken steak and seafood way too much to ever do that to ever do that but i do want to incorporate more plant-based meals into my diet because the things i like eating the most are very filling and they stick on you they add weight that's why i'm chunky now that's exactly why i'm chunky now so 
I saw a couple of recipes on TikTok that I would love to recreate. Does it mean that I'm gonna like them? We don't know. I'm gonna find out today. <laughs> because i'm about to be trying some things i never like ever had before in life like i saw this chickpea salad that looks really really good it's like you roast the chickpeas you cut up some veggies it's kind of like a greek salad which i i love i'm obsessed with greek salad so i'm thinking if chickpeas don't really have flavor then they should be good i saw these black bean tacos i swear i was mexican in another life please don't take this the wrong way but i love mexican food and they look good like i like the way black beans taste that's what i get my chipotle but I've had like refried black beans with plenty of my meals so, so I'm thinking that I would like the flavor especially if I hook the beans up you know and I replaced that instead of like doing steak carne asada and stuff like that I think that's just more of an, a healthier alternative um, than always going for the things that I like to eat like I was saying earlier like pastas and rices and a lot of like heavy starches and stuff like that I have an obsession with bread, so I don't see myself stopping that anytime soon. But I did try to switch over to better breads. So instead of doing like white or wheat, I would do sourdough. But this time I'm wondering if I can find a really nice ciabatta bread. Cause I just, I saw this sandwich and it calls for a very thick bread. <laughs> I want to recreate this like chicken mozzarella mozzarella I want to create this like chicken mozzarella red pepper with arugula sandwich oh my god it looked so good if you've ever been to Taylor's in DC they kind of have a, a sandwich that's similar to that oh my god but anyways we're gonna run through this Trader Joe's on this lovely day let us pray it's not too many people in there because I want to film the process and sometimes I get a little nervous and a little shy in Trader Joe's because people just be on your ass in that store. It's actually disrespectful. And we're going to see what's tea. I would love to see if they have other plant-based alternatives for pasta as well. Like if they had chickpea pasta, I think that would be cool. Because me and this linguine got to break up. I can't I can't eat pasta every single week that's crazy I'm gonna anyways <laughs> like pasta on top of bread on top of rice every single week is insane and that's what I like to eat that's why I gravitate towards so yeah all in all let me stop rambling and I'm going to catch up back with you guys when we are inside Trader Joe's there was no one that back calling me splurge let me jump right out the curve yeah. make this right fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard yeah. Crack up the phone, I swear Keep me a stick if they purge Young girl don't wanna, they working my nerves I'm about to pull us a serve yeah. Fucking this bitch like a perm yeah. Smack from the back of a perm yeah. Ice, the bird Shitting on all you little turds Can't take that dude, it's your turn in my own life, we can't merge yeah. So with no hands, you can learn yeah. Let's see how much you can earn yeah. Why me go back like the word yeah. And I ain't smoking no shirt yeah. I'm with the BVP lady Keep peace, keep peace I love my bitches, it's pretty They showing their titties, it's up to the ceiling Hey babe, so it's a little bit later We are about to go get our workout in Reminder, we have to work out 45 minutes each day girl even though this is my trial run i'm trying to do everything like it is already april so i can just be accustomed to it so um i have no idea what i'm gonna do in the gym in terms of workouts but i don't want to work out on machines um because i don't want to be out and about with everyone else i kind of want to be secluded so hopefully the yoga room is open and i'm going to do a lot of workouts that you guys can do at home if you're like limited and don't have any machines um these workouts will be good for you so come on So 
as y'all saw, I ended up wrapping up filming my session a little bit earlier so I could give homegirl some privacy. You guys, the gym was jam packed tonight, okay? And your girl walked to and from the gym in the rain. I ain't never do that a day in my life, but I'm trying to stay consistent. This 75 hard or soft challenge does not care about any of the inconveniences or the circumstances. You gotta do 45 minute workout every single day. So I made sure to continue doing my session. I just didn't film it because I didn't want homegirls to, you know, feel uncomfortable. But we are all showered and I just did my skincare. And now I'm about to go to bed. All right. So that really wraps up my trial run of the 75 soft challenge and starting tomorrow i'm putting the pedal to the metal and i'm going crazy for the next 70 next 75 days so um so yeah stay along with me on this journey please comment down below what portion of the video you like the most whether that was the cooking the shopping for groceries the workout just me in general let me know what portion of the video you would like the most so i can film more of that content in the future thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye mamas